and the and the flaps actually help hold the bud tight as well to the cambium layer of the on um, the trunk there and then you can see when he wraps that he's wrapping very tightly to try to minimize all the air that's going to be it. So these vines were cut off. They literally cut off the tops of the vines and disposed of the cordons and the wood and the and the trimmings and everything. And they basically let the vine just kind of sit there for a little bit and as the time frame goes on, the bark starts to slip at the cambium. The cambium layer becomes very, uh, is, is where we want to put the graft. And it's basically just putting a bud on top of the cambium layer so the cambium and the new bud have to adhere to each other and callus and that's where it'll start. We know this vine is still obviously alive, even though there's no fruit, no big canopy on it, but that gives a chance for this to, uh, to heal, to callus, and to start growing. So these were probably just grafted within the last week, and therefore we don't see any green growth yet coming out of that little window between the tape. And generally a butter will put two buds on kind of an insurance policy uh, in case one doesn't make it, there's always a second chance for the, the second one to come through. It is a skill. It's not just anybody can go out there with a sharp knife and uh, just put a bud under there and call it good. So a skilled operator with a good sharp knife, I mean it has to be a sharp knife, has to make sure that bud is exactly flat on the back side so that the cambium is matching the cambium. And that's the key to successful grafting. And the, and the flaps actually help hold the bud tight as well to the cambium layer of the, on the trunk there. And then you can see when he wraps that he's wrapping very tightly to try to minimize all the air that's going to be in there to help keep it from drying out. But he's doing a chip butt on this one right here versus a T or an inverted T and he has a reason for that. He probably feels it's a better chance for a take in there and that's what he did is he removed a little piece of wood and he's doing a, a typical chip like you would on a rootstock. But again just long as cambium is matching cambium that's the key. So they've already relieved the, the hydraulic pressure right here. The trunks have already been slashed to help keep the sap flow coming up while and let that have a time to heal. Otherwise that sap flow would be too much on this open wound now and push that bud out theoretically. So they come in and pre-cut these and that's what this bleeding is down in here. It's not going to hurt the vine, it's just a very shallow cut with a saw. Here's one that's already starting to push a little bit. Uh, again, I put a little nick in here in the trunk to relieve some of the hydraulic pressure and this one is actually starting to grow and I think with all the warm weather this is probably an indicator that this is going to take off pretty quick and at some point then the crew will come through and start taking off the sucker so the energy and the effort can go into into that new bud. The year of grafting is really the loss of a hundred percent crop plus the conversion and then after that it's uh, going forward with your new variety or new clone.